right, real quick uh, here with Andrew Tabidi. Still to have a fight this past weekend against the uh, fast rising Australian prospect there. Yeah, right. Uh, Huni, was the high pronounced, I believe? I think his name just Justice Huni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, seven and all, I believe, but unfortunately, he rolled his ankle and tore some ligaments. Right. Um, I know you've been itching to get. You haven't fought in quite a while. I've been. I've been uh, almost a year. Like, September a year last now. year. Or? August. August. Yeah. All right. So a little disappointed. Um, my, what were your thoughts when you got the news? Um, uh, you know, it happens in training camp. So you know, I just you know give me more time to prepare. Hopefully, we reschedule it or you know we get another opponent um, sometime this fall. So you know. Uh, I, I talked to you before we, we came here um, about, you know, not too familiar with them. I know obviously he had a, a resume in, in uh, amateur boxing, but working his way up in the pros. And, and I asked you this, do you do you feel like they're, you know, you're a, a, you know, a guy who's only got one loss on his resume, he's got a great uh -huh. career so far. Do you think they're trying to use you to build this guy up? And if so, what are your feelings on that? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so because, um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not really a heavyweight. You know, I'm a cruiserweight. But um, I fought heavyweight last last year. Um, I put fought Tyrone Spong, but I ended up fighting James uh, the Beast Wilson. And um, you know, so they they, uh, I think a lot of um, promoters they might be underestimating me. The matchmakers underestimate me. Um, and you know, I, I, I think when they start doing they, they studies on me, I, I, they want to back out the fight. You know, so you know, it, it comes with territory. You know, I spar good heavyweights like Joshua. I spar a lot of these um, big baby Miller. A lot of top heavyweights, and I do real well, and um, I'm just ready to shock the world. Did that piss you off, though? People thinking that you're someone that they can build a resume off of. Oh uh, yeah, you know, you yeah, facts. Yeah. Yourself, yourself. yeah, facts. You know, um, I'm really, I'm a really dedicated fighter. I'm around six miles a day. I do strict conditioning almost every day. You know, I'm, I'm ready to fight anytime. So you know, um, a heavyweight coming to fight me, it's, they're gonna, they're gonna have a, a hard fight. We've been talking to you since <laughs> you're an amateur, and we didn't know, right. you, know you, you always, well, you, I think at first you said you wanted to be a heavyweight, then right. you said, okay, well, through grace maybe more for me. A little older now, uh, right. further along in your career, do you think that ultimately you will be a heavyweight, or, or um, is cruiserweight where you want to well, be at least? Well, well, cruiserweight is where I want to be. I want to be a um, world champion, um, you know, at cruiserweight division, and um, but um, right now it seems like I'm getting more opportunities at heavyweight. Um, I get more calls to fight heavyweight. You know, um, it been, been a couple calls that, you know, people wanted, uh, wanted me to fight, but they end up backing out last minute so it's not the first time and um you know hopefully i can get like um a, a small heavyweight like a frank sanchez fight some guys like that i know a lot of people is not going to think i'm going to beat these guys but I, i'll beat them i mean is that yeah. is that part of the thing <laughs> with the cruiserweight being a, especially the united states being kind of i don't want to say dead division but a, a division that's not you know really uh you know marketable or you know is it is it tough yeah, I mean it's it's yeah it is tough in America. Um, I, I feel like even all the other countries, it's, it's it's real tough. They're not really paying no money for cruiserweight. Uh, it's not really no too many uh, too much names, and the whole cruiserweight division is ducking me. We 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 have probably about 10, 10 people, and most of the champions do not don't want to fight. So you know, I rather I rather just you know get the money at heavyweight. You know, and uh, if, if I go if I go back get a ranking at heavyweight, if I go back. And, and get a, a higher rank, get a mandatory at cruiserweight. That'd be cool. What about a stay busy fight against Jeff? I think he's at cruiserweight now. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I ain't no cruiserweight. <laughs> Super middleweight. <laughs> you can drop down. You can drop down for that though. Yeah, right, we can yeah. get a red. down for that. You can get some of this. <laughs> <laughs> How long is that fight last, Andrew? If you went in there just would yeah. last more than thirty seconds. Yeah, I, I might. I might just give him maybe, maybe, maybe a minute and a half. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I'd make, I thought I'd make a round at least. <laughs> uh, as long as it takes him to catch you, I think he's probably yeah. he's one of the fastest cruiserweights out there. Uh, so so yeah. So with with uh, Huni here, what's the plan is to, to fight him again or, or? I mean yeah. I mean I mean if they want to fight. If Matthew want to um, put him in there and fight. Hopefully um, they can have uh, get another opponent. So hopefully we we we'll figure something out and um, we'll be back soon. All right, well, we'll see if it happens, man. Uh, best luck to you, and look forward to seeing you back in the ring. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs>